on Broadway, I learned this thing. They call it the white room. And the white room is when you're on stage and you suddenly have no idea where you are, (laughs) what you're doing, what your next line is. So what is going on with you in Cabaret in a couple of sleeps time? Yeah, I can't believe it. It's really, it's just one of those things. Uh, We've been in rehearsals for six weeks, whole new cast coming in, which has been so fun. Been doing it with Self Esteem, who's who's playing Sally Bowles, who's incredible. Um, But yeah, just been working like mad. It's a process like no other. And it's also just like a dream role. I can't. I couldn't believe it when uh, someone came to me and was like, you know, they they really want to talk to you about doing this. And I I, I was just uh, so excited. And when I when I found out that I I got it, um, I've just been over the moon all year. So it's cabaret, but not as some people know it because it's immersive. Yeah, well, it's it's. I would I would more call it atmospheric. Right. You know they've they've rebuilt the whole theater uh, to make it into the Kit Kat Club. So it's 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 a gorgeous. The whole space is 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 amazing and gorgeous. And it's, uh, you know, when you go in, there's just like music and performers already going on, and uh, it's such a, it's such a a great thing to go on. You, it's a great date. So they've raised the bar, is what they've, they've done. They've raised the bar. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a gorgeous production. I I. Um, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. And before I got cast in it, um, you know, just going to it, I, I, I loved watching it. And yeah, I love cabaret. Times. I mean, I love musicals. I don't go to enough of them, but every time I go, I just find them so uplifting. They do say music is what feelings sound like. Um, and when you have a story, you know, musical lyrics, uh, there's a narrative, there are twists, there are turns, there's pathos, there's joy, there's hilarity, uh, there's despair. It's too much for me sometimes, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And this show definitely goes, uh, you know, sort of takes you there. And it's a heck of a lot of fun. Um, but it's also very, very dark. And I'm just so happy that I get to be an absolute creep <laughs> in this a, show in this show <laughs> i get to be a total like my creepy side you um, you access your inner creepy i do i do but i also you know uh it's there's there's a real sort of jovial thing i've i've also found in the performance like i i'm i'm having a lot of fun up there and i just can't wait to get it in front of an audience all right so how how are you feeling uh, g- good <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just going to be interesting. Here, here's the amazing thing about going into Come a on, show, though. This is this is my favorite thing about doing uh, a musical, is that just where you start is is very different from where you end up, and right. you can really watch. You find so much stuff when you're doing it, and you get to just do it over and over and over. And if you screw up something on a on a matinee, you get to rectify it later that day. Yeah, you yeah. know. So it's like it's just it, the board gets reset every time, and you learn so much and you change so much. And when you when you finish it off and you look back at where you started from, so it's definitely going to be that. Like I've got a you know, it's going to be a foundational performance on Monday, and and it's only gonna it's only gonna get better. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't have to be bad, bad to get better let's just point that out no you've been here before but you've not been here before because you feel differently about this role don't you and the, the rehearsals and things like that it's the most challenging thing i've done i think and what's been really special about it is going in with a with a new cast and everybody in it sort of together and everyone's just been so fun and wonderful and you know th- like i'm i'm up there like dancing with these brilliant you know kids in their early 20s uh who are just so sweet and it's it we've just been having a great time so a six-week rehearsal period um intense uh but you're a you're, you're a super pro man you know and i know the pressure's on but you wouldn't have it any other way and on monday i suppose the pressure begins to come off in a way uh Look. yeah i mean once you once you just start getting into the swing of it i mean the, the the amazing thing about doing Kinky Boots was that it changed my performance style even in my own shows and it really got rid of any nerves and a lot of times people over the years would tell me like oh once you stop getting nervous you need to just throw in the towel that's when you need to stop doing it and when I stopped getting nervous before shows is sort of 
it's it's been amazing. Like I have so much more fun. I love going out on stage and really just like I, having not one nerve going out to a big crowd. And and Kinky Boots really helped me with that. And I think this is going to continue that. That's Even though I will have some nerves this next week, they will go away and I'm going to just be having the time of my life. That's so interesting, isn't it? Because, you know, if you know you know something and it's a, it's a, like, we talk about whole body yeses on this show quite a lot. You know, your your whole body intelligence. If you, if you, if you whole body know, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, because it's just like, you don't have to, it, you, you have to trust yourself that you're just going to yeah. do it. And, and there's no, there's no reason to be nervous about things because well, it's know? in the body isn't it and the body we know that that's a much bigger intelligence network than just the head and if it's in the head trying to tell the body that's di- there's a lag there there could be mm. miscommunication there if it's in the body but not in the head but if if you know it inside out then you're in this beautiful sort of um uh, sort of chasm of 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 wonder however on the other side of that is aut- automatic so you so there's nervousness there's pressure which is good up to a point as yes. long as it doesn't break you and then there's knowing it which is where you are now thinking i'm not, i'm, I'm going to be a bit nervous at the beginning of the next week but after that, i'm not going to be nervous i'm going to own it but what you don't want to do is then start dialing it in and you've got to stay you've got to make sure you stay in that zone yeah you can't dial you can't dial it in which, you can't. which can happen sometimes yes. if you know it too well yeah and you, you're a bit tired or whatever you you may be yeah you can't go on autopilot you can't. And the 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 one time I get scared if I'm if I'm doing a show like this, is when you hit the very end of the week, um, and you get if you are tired, that's when lines start leaving. You start panicking on stage, right. being like, "What is the next thing I'm supposed to oh like? Gosh. What what is going? No on? matter how well you know it. And on Broadway, I learned this thing. They call it the white room. And the white room is when you're on stage and you suddenly have no idea where you are (laughs) what you're doing what your next line is like you just go up and you go up in your lines and people have to like save you from the white room on stage i've never fully experienced a white room but people people (laughs) people do but yeah it's called the white room which i think is really cool and do you think your fellow performers if they're intuitive enough with you and they love you and you've they've got your back if they have a different story they can see it in your eyes yes yeah no i think that that happens but the really fun thing too about about live theater and any kind of live performance is I mean, to me, the definition of show business is something going horribly wrong yeah. <laughs> and you having to figure out on the spot what to do about it and how, you know, how sm- how you can smooth it over as fast as you yeah. possibly can. That's showmanship. How you can get back on the slope from off piece. Yes. <laughs> whether you want to go. And the other other times you're, you're so confident you go, you go off piece anyway and you wangle your way back, I suppose. Yeah, you can. There is that. Have you ever witnessed the, the, the white room in somebody else's eyes thinking, oh, I, I have to bail. I have to bail. They need me here. Um, Definitely I've been with people who have gone gone up on their lines. And Lord's, I mean, I've I've gone up on my lines too. What, uh, what, there, There's a performance of Kinky Boots where I called one of the characters pants. Right, nice. Just came out of my mouth. <laughs> I called them. <laughs> I asked someone if pants had called. <laughs> 